Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this week I did a Bella Hadid inspired makeup tutorial using only drugstore makeup. So the makeup look that I was inspired by is this one here and it was done by Sam Visor Makeup on Instagram and I'll pop it here and pop all the links down below so you can check her out because she is an amazing makeup artist and I mean I get a lot of inspiration from her she's just very unique and very cool in the way that she does her makeup so if you guys would like to keep on watching make sure to subscribe like and comment down below and also let's just get right into the video The look I'm going to do today is inspired by this look here, um, which is just like a super like gothy, almost like 90s inspired, so I really like it. I'm going to try and achieve this look using only drugstore products, so let's see how we go. So the first product I'm going to use is this Revolution um, Soap Brow Pomade thing, which like, looks like this. And I really like this. Um, it has had mixed reviews, but honestly, it's pretty good. So I'm just going to activate it. So you just need to activate it with some water or setting spray or something like that. And I'm just going to get my little brow spoolie and just like run it back and forth. And let's see how it goes. Oh, I've got fluffing. So she has like super like fluffy looking brows like they didn't really do much to her brows it looks like so I'm just going to like soak them down and I feel like when you use these kind of products you kind of need to like wipe away any excess that touches your skin otherwise it'll just mess up your whole like foundation and everything um, I've already moisturized already, so do that before as well. But now that I finished soaping down brows like so, which I think looks like pretty good, I'm just thinking, should I go with the eyes or face first? I might do my face first because the eyes are pretty simple. So I'm firstly just going to go in with this new NYX Marshmallow Primer. Um, I got this because it was being recommended like crazy all on the internet. Oh my god, there's so much fluff on it. So I tried it and I've been trying it out for like the last few days. And honestly, the hype is real with this one. Like. It is so good and if you haven't had <laughs> managed to get your hands on it yet, definitely do. Um, the only disappointing thing I would feel about this is that it was pretty pricey for a drugstore primer. It was $30, which I'm like, is that even drugstore anymore? Like, I'm just like, why? Like, I felt like most drugstore products were like $25 to $30. And I was just like, I swear they used to be like, ten dollars so anyways it is a really good primer and it's like a smoothing primer but it's hydrating it's not like those like weird silicone kind of feeling um it smells really good too and i mean honestly like if you don't like smells you might not like it but you can't really smell it once it's been rubbed into your face you know what i mean i'm not going to go in with foundation today because in the photo she looks like they've put like a tint or something very light coverage so I'm just gonna go in with a concealer and I'm gonna go in with my favorite drugstore concealer which is the Maybelline Fit Me Found Fit Me Concealer in 20 Sand and what I'm gonna do for this is I'm going to do the Bella Hadid like contour so I'm just gonna put a little bit in the corner of my eye right here like near my temple um and i'm going to like also just put some like right here center of my nose and 
just anywhere that I have redness and I'm also going to just contour like the very top of my chin so pretty high up just underneath my lip and on the sides of my mouth and under my cheekbones as well. I'm gonna go in with my contour stick from Mega Max and I would rate this like a drugstore price seeing that the next one was so crazy priced that this is I think 16 to 18 dollars for a contour stick it might even be 14 I can't remember but I love this so I'm just going to draw and this is in medium by the way I'm just going to draw um, pretty high up a line so like above my cheekbone where I would usually draw and I want to do it in the same direction as this one here and I'm also going to put some contour right here here as well and I'm going to put two lines under my chin so my chin looks a little bit more pointy and then I'm going to put it on the sides of my nose So I'm just going to blend that out with my Real Techniques contour brush and I'm just making sure to try and keep these contour um, in like the same area and not bringing it down um, just so I can make sure that the illusion that I've had a facelift remains. I blended out the contour I'm just going to go in with my Real Techniques buffing brush and I'm just going to buff in the concealer. So now that I have applied my face product I'm going to just powder using um, the Astralis Fresh and Flawless palette in medium tan and I'm going to just ever so slightly powder my t-zone and I'm going to do it super lightly so she doesn't look like she has a lot of powder on so I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to define my contour a little bit more using the Revolution Makeup Bronzer in 01 Cool. Because this makeup look is quite cool, I am going to keep the bronzer quite cool as well. So I'm just going to go in with my Morphe M527 brush and just going to apply this over the places that I cream contour. almost hit um, 200 subscribers which again is small but it's exciting because it just makes me happy that people are wanting to subscribe to me so thanks <laughs> I have this again it's not drugstore but it is cheap in drugstore prices so you're not going to find this in some place like Priceline that etc but it's the Mega Max Dream Queen Eyes and Face Palette and I believe this is $32 and it's a face and eye palette and you get all these colors and it's the massive fast mirror like wow um so I would definitely say this is affordable seeing that once again this primer alone is just $30 so I would say this is very affordable 
for the quality and the price here is so I would definitely recommend it um uh, Bella seems to be wearing like a kind of pinky mauve kind of blusher so I am gonna go in with this one which I believe is Mirage Mirage and I'm just gonna go back with my little Real Techniques um, contouring brush and I'm just going to apply these usually where I would highlight and this is just also going to enhance that face lip look In with a highlighter shade in this palette which is this one here which is called fantasy and I'm just going to um, blend this just very close to my eye socket um, and going back up like that And that's where I'm going to leave it. So that is the skin for this Bella Hadid tutorial. So now on to the eyes, which is the most exciting part, I would say. So I'm just going to first prime my eyes using my concealer. And I'm just going to apply this all over the lid. So it looks like she's very cool own brown eyes in her brown color in her crease with a bright white and then a very smoky under um, under eye and lash line so that is what I will be trying to emulate um, I don't actually have any um, drugstore eyeshadow palettes with me at the moment from the drugstore again but I am going to use a cheap alternative, which is the Morphe 18T. I believe this is $18. Um, I will have to check that again. But again, that is probably the same amount as most eyeshadows from the drugstore. Possibly even cheaper, as I saw some NYX eyeshadows were like $26. So this is a very good um, cheap alternative as well and it does have all the neutrals that you need so this is definitely an essential palette for me um but i am going to use the cooler tones in this eyeshadow palette to emulate ella's look i'm going to just firstly go in with a little tapered brush it's on a fluffy pill a fluffy blanket so i keep getting full off everywhere which is really frustrating but that's okay so i'm going in with a fluffy tapered brush and I'm gonna go in with this color here. I lost the little plastic slip, so I don't actually know what the name of it is. But I'm going in with this little cool tone brown color, and I'm going to just apply this in my crease, and I'm going to just really keep it to the crease and um, out of corner. You don't really want it to go too high up, as her brown bone is quite predominantly like a whiter sheer color so i am going to just keep it to my crease and as low as i possibly can and i'm going to also wing the outer edge out please let me know down below what your favorite drugstore makeup is and what products you would like me to um try i was wanting to do a like over height drugstore um first impressions so please let me know any recommendations you have down below little tiny little red blending brush from morphe again and i'm just going to go in with this light cool tone here just to blend that color out ever so slightly and remembering to not go too high up in the crease to try and make sure it stays nice and low. Winter has finally hit outside. It is so rainy and just very grey. Don't mind. 
don't mind me when you're just sitting in at home and it's this kind of weather because I like watching movies and it feels like very cozy and warm so I don't mind it and I'm excited to make dinner as well tonight I really like cooking if you guys would ever like me to do some cooking videos I really enjoy cooking I cook every night for me and my boyfriend and tonight I'm just really craving that TikTok pasta but I want to just kind of like do it my own way I don't know, I feel like something warm, something like, you know, something like that. So, let's see, maybe tacos. Mm, tacos, I don't know. We'll see how we go. Lid, I'm going to go in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And this is so old school. I do remember, like, back in the day, like, when I was 12 years old, first started watching YouTube, this was the rage. Like, this was everything. So, I'm <laughs> going to just put this on the center of my eye and I'm just gonna put a little bit and then I'll blend it with the brush. I'm going to go in with a NYX Jum Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean and what I'm going to do with this first is I'm just going to bl 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 apply this to my lash line really messily as well because I'm going to smoke this out remember now before I do the bottom so I'm just going to go back in with that brush that I did the white with and I'm just going to just fluff that out a little bit under eyes so firstly I'm just going to go in with this little brush and I'm going to go in with this color here which is the color that we used to blend out the shades before and I'm just going to apply this under my under eyes just so that we have a base for it I'm going to just line my wood line with this um it won't look really safe but let's see if I can see if I can do it I might have to do this off camera for you guys but I'm just going to line my wood line Okay, so the waterline is officially off. So I'm going to grab this little oh wait no, this little guy again and I'm just gonna smoke that out. I'm just going to apply some mascara, which is the Essence I Need a Miracle um, Volumizing and Strengthening Mascara, which is like my favorite mascara at the moment, and it's actually like $5. So I'm just going to apply that all over my lashes. So it doesn't look like she has any falsies on, so I'm just going to leave the eyes as is. Um, now I'm just going to go in with my NYX lip liner in Free Spirit and I'm just going to overline my lip. So, and then I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Tantanizing Taupe Color Sensational Lipstick. This is quite cool tone, which I think works well with what she has on. I 
I'm just going to blot it because hers is completely matte, so I'm just going to blot mine. Okay, so this is the finished look. So this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned some tips and tricks and also maybe got some inspiration on what products to buy from the drugstore. I mean drugstore products are just as good as high end and you can definitely achieve some really cool makeup looks using just drugstore products. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Bella Hadid look. If you would like me to do some more looks using only just all makeup, please let me know down below. And make sure to like, comment and subscribe as it is very much appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video.